is one of three papers at this conference which has Adam's name on it, which is kind of about normal at these conferences, except, well, I suppose it's not normal at all this time, but um, so um, this is a paper by Milos and uh, Pavel Rickley and, and Adam, of course, uh, and uh, Vitek is going to be the presenter, so I'll go straight over a few of it. Okay, thank you. Uh, good mor still, good morning. Uh, I'm here to present a paper with, we've uh, written with Adam. I think it is one of the last, maybe even his last paper. And the paper uh, is about uh, an algorithm for processing concordance searches, for processing uh, corpus data. The motivation behind the algorithm or the, or the longest commonest match uh, is to provide uh, an example for a collocation pair. You, you probably know word sketches in Sketch Engine and sometimes it's uh, the, the collocation pair, the head word plus a collocation might be uh, hard to understand. Uh, so to provide an example, a phrase uh, for a given collocation pair, we've uh, uh, designed an algorithm to uh, extract and find the best example for such a collocation pair. That's the, the first point for motivation. Then uh, the same algorithm can be used for expansion, expanding uh, two-word collocations into uh, more generalized multi-word expressions. So that's the, there is a whole field uh, for finding multi-word expression and that's just another means of uh, searching for multi-word expressions. And the third point is uh, uh, to find, again, with the same algorithm, to find uh, an example, the, the generalized uh, search based on a given concordance, on a given corpus search. So uh, probably many of you uh, already know the word sketches, how they look like in a sketch engine. And they are presented uh, in the tables, in a list of collocations grouped by uh, grammar relations. So here we have uh, a word sketch for verb put. And if you look uh, at the first example in the first table, there is a collocation and, and it might not be clear uh, for, uh, for users of Sketch Engine uh, what uh, concordances, what sentences are behind these collocations. We know that there are more than 6,000 examples or sentences with the collocation pair put plus end, but we don't know from this table how uh, the usual usage of this pair uh, look like. So if, if you, okay, let's take the first example, the first collocation. If you look at the concordance, uh, it's clear, and it, I think this one is uh, just a random sample, from the concordance with the 6,000 lines, uh, you see uh, that there are some patterns, let's say, or better engrams, fra engram phrases, which are uh, more frequent in the concordance. And that's the idea behind the longest communist match, behind the algorithm, to look for the most frequent, the, the most common, the commonest uh, phrases or engrams uh, in uh, these concordances. Uh, as for the word sketch, the, uh, what the algorithm is doing is to, uh, for a given pair here, for example, resource connected with uh, the collocation uh, department uh, with uh, relation noun modifier to find a real example from the corpus data. Here, the, the pair is not so self-explanatory, but if you look uh, at the last line, the resulting uh, longest commonest match uh, is uh, much better. So the name uh, 
comes from uh, the combination of the two features of uh, the searches, the, the phrases. And the first is the commonest uh, match, and it's because we are looking for the most frequent, the most prominent uh, phrases in the concordance lines. And the second part, the longest, uh, comes from the fact that we are at the same time trying to expand uh, the phrase to the left and to the right from uh, the collocations uh, themselves. Uh, I could uh, show you the algorithm, uh, describe the algorithm, but it's uh, in the paper. I think it's not appropriate to go through the algorithm itself, but uh, I will show you uh, an example, let's take uh, the same concordance for the collocation pair put plus end. And uh, what the algorithm uh, is doing is to look, or first, to take uh, the short phrases uh, where the first word of the phrase is the first, uh, the head word, or the first collocate, uh, and where the phrase ends with the second collocate. It might be vice versa. Uh, in the case, the head word is behind uh, to the right uh, from the collocations. So the first step is to expand or create the, the basic uh, list of the phrases from the concordance search. Then, uh, where the uh, part of for the commonest uh, match. Uh, uh, takes part uh, is to look up the most frequent, the most prominent uh, phrases from the list of the basic uh, basic phrases uh, at the beginning. So here we can see that the, the most frequent combination of the phrase is put an end. Uh, and then we are trying to expand this phrase, this n-gram, in this case trigram, to the left and to the right. So here we can see that in all, almost all cases, there is a two uh, to the right uh, from, the, from the phrase. And at the sa same time, it still must be the commonest. So if we expand to the right or to the left, it still needs to have uh, a sufficient frequency when compared to the size of the whole concordance. So we cannot expand uh, to the right and to the left uh, at infinitum. Uh, it must still have, the resulting phrase must still have uh, uh, sufficient frequency. Uh, the, algorithms the algorithm uses uh, several parameters which can be tuned, for example, the minimum size of a concordance. There is probably no point for uh, extracting uh, longest commonest matches for concordances with uh, three or four lines. Uh, the probably the most important parameter is the proportion of, uh, of the number of found longest commonest matches to the size of the whole concordance. And another parameter is the minimum frequency of the, the result. Um, uh, the algorithm itself is quite simple. It's, uh, the, the important thing is that it's a language independent, so we can use it in any corpus uh, once we have word sketches for, for the corpus. The algorithm is not so fast uh, to be used or computed online for any uh, collocation pair. That's why uh, we need it to pre-compute and pre-index uh, all the longest commonest matches for all word sketch collocations in, in Sketch Engine, and they are pre-computed uh, pre and stored together with the word sketches. Uh, the longest commonest matches are integrated into the Sketch Engine. Uh, as you can see on the picture, if you open any uh, word sketch and uh, uh, change the view from the table-based view into the flat view, uh, just with the list of collocations, and uh, grammar uh, relations, you will see uh, in the last column uh, the resulting commonest match. So for each <coughs> combination, put the head word plus any of the 
collocations you have uh, the longest commonest match. <coughs> Uh, we did some evaluation, but uh, of course it is hard to say if a given longest common edge mass, uh, match is good. Um, it's a hard question and, and we discussed about uh, how to decide it and didn't come to a, a conclusion. That's why we uh, did uh, evaluation or rather comparison of various settings of parameters when building or finding the longest commonest matches. And we uh, try the three um, parameters for the proportion here, uh, one half and, um, or 25% and one sixth of, of uh, the whole concordance. It means that if uh, longest common edge is found, it must, uh, have, uh, it must occur uh, at least in half of all sentences in the concordance or uh, in 25% and, and so on. So here is an example. I hope you can see it uh, from the evaluation. So annotators were uh, provided with uh, the triples, the pairs of collocation plus the, the relation. You can see it in the fr uh, first three columns. So the head word plus relation collocate. That's what is usually uh, uh, in the interface. So this is the collocation, the, the word sketch. And then uh, annotators had to decide which one, which of the three possible uh, longest commonest matches based on those three uh, proportion parameters uh, are the best. And all uh, the examples were annotated by annotators and then we found out that the settings uh, with the uh, which uh, which uh, the settings where the proportion was uh, lowest uh, it means that the procedure the algorithm came with uh, uh, the most examples the coverage was uh, highest it was also annotated usually as the best, the example. It was usually the case that the, if you can, if you see, if you look at the table, so the, the third column in this part, the longest common edge match was uh, longest uh, one. Uh, it was also clear from the evaluation that it's good to provide at least something, any longest common edge mass, match, then nothing. For uh, especially for understanding the collocation pair, uh, the word sketch item here. So it's, uh, it's uh, good to have at least anything, any longest commonest match than nothing. Uh, we also discovered some issues, for example, uh, in, uh, whether to include punctuation uh, on the left or on the right side, usually commas uh, and uh, full stops but uh, we think that sometimes it uh, might be helpful to know that some phrase, some longest common edge mas match uh, might occur uh, at the beginning of sentence or at the end of, of a clause or, or a sentence. So we are not decided uh, whether to include that or to, to remove all punctuations from all longest common edge matches. To conclude uh, the presentation, uh, we think that to provide the longest communist match for any word sketch uh, pair, for any collocation pair, uh, it's uh, very useful. Uh, the algorithm for finding those matches is quite simple uh, and uh, language independent, which is very important. And it's also, uh, it's already integrated into Sketch Engine. It, it uh, must be pre-computed uh, so uh, it's available only for a few corpora now, but we plan to, in the future, to include them and build them, uh, pre-compute them for all corpora with the word sketches. Uh, the algorithm is also quite general, uh, so it can be used for any 
uh, concordance search nodes just uh, just uh, search for a, a collocation pair, but any search based on a CQL query uh, or a lemma uh, query and so on. Uh, once you have a concordance, you can run the algorithm on that to find the most frequent phrase, quick, uh, and expand it to the left and to the right and find the most uh, salient, the most frequent, common, uh, common and uh, the longest match for that. So it could be, so we could provide the longest common match, match to any concordance search in, in Sketch Engine. And I see uh, it as a uh, good possibility uh, to provide those examples, those longest commonest matches uh, as entries in uh, dictionaries. Because it is something between the collocation itself and the full sentence as a good example for that collocation. So it, I think it, it could help and be useful also in uh, dictionaries. And the uh, last word about, or in, in my presentation, is uh, about Adam, the, the author of, co-author of this paper. He coined the term longest communist match. Uh, and he also came with the algorithm for the longest common match, match and it, uh, it's, it was quite often that he came with an idea uh, and elaborated it uh, into quite detailed algorithm and we just uh, took uh, the algorithm and implemented it and tried to uh, do it as fast as possible, most efficient way and, and it usually uh, came out that the algorithm at the beginning with almost any, uh, with, without any change was uh, great and, and uh, gave uh, great results. That's the case for the longest commonest match. And last, last thing uh, to illustrate uh, Adam's character. Uh, just a few days uh, before uh, he died, he wrote me a letter and apologized me that he uh, he couldn't finish the annotation of uh, the evaluation phase of the paper, so that's, that's uh, I was touched by that. Uh, that's all. Thank you for your attention. Yeah, thanks. That's, that's going to be really useful. Um, one suggestion I had is it seems that you're being sort of very string-oriented about this. So you put up all the put an end to examples. You immediately took away all the putting an end to. And I just thought, can you not sort of leave an element of lemmatization <coughs> in it? Because actually put an end to... It, it is the longest common, commonest match, but it's like put the lemma an end to and, and, and puts a, a, a case where that's because puts past tense is the same as its infinitive you're actually obscuring that uh, you know that, that, that sort of generalisation so it'd be nice if the longest communist <coughs> match had like maybe if it could be any form of the lemma it could be like bold faced in the in the um. LC match something like that yeah, I think uh, there are possibilities to, to improve uh, the longest commonest matches. I, I think that's uh, something like a uh, halfway uh, to searching or extracting language patterns from the concordances. So in an ideal case, we would uh, find uh, many nouns to the right uh, of the longest commonest match and put some general noun instead of, of just the, the word list. So I think the lemma is uh, to provide some information about it. A part of the longest commonish match is uh, lemma would be, yes, uh, would be good. And we are thinking still about how to improve and even more generalize the, the longest commonish match. Yes, of, of course, it would be. I would just add to this that we have had very mixed feedback on that. So we have had very you know, um, strong feedback going in the entirely opposite direction. So we have been talking about things like should we, you know, leave out commas, stuff like that? 
Uh, no, please keep it there. So, you know, various people have, you know, various no, opinions about it. I think it's a good point with, with things like the past fiscal. If something is always fiscal, yeah. you definitely want yeah. to show it yeah. as a past fiscal. Yeah. So the lemmatization. Yeah, yeah. I, I see. It's not a universal. Yeah, 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 so yeah, 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 sure. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Thank you. Um, so I, I'm like like Pete. I'm a typical user, um, and so when you've got something absolutely wonderful, which I think the sketch engine is, uh, we want something more. Um, and my, so I have two uh, questions. The first is uh, in Sheffield they have something called a skip gram, don't they? Where they can push down. Uh, irrelevant inter interference like relative clauses like um, um, oh putting an end which everyone agrees is necessary to the witch hunt blah 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 and you need to push down that relative clause now in Czech and German commas uh, are very good signals um, but unfortunately, in English, we have two types of relative clauses, one with commas and one without, restrictive and unrestrictive. So uh, you need also to find the relative pronoun. And to add to the complication in English, of course, the relative pronoun is often silent. Uh, so it's not there. Uh, so you have to find two verbs. And in OK, so the first question is, do you have plans for skip grams or push down stacks or something like that? And the second question is much simpler. Do you have plans to, uh, to use semantic types to group your collocates and find, uh, and find patterns with or find significant patterns? You know where I'm coming from. Yeah, yeah. Uh, with, with, with groups of collocates. Uh, even though all the words, all the realizations may be, set, may be different. Uh, okay, thank you for the questions. As for the skip gram, uh, it's a very good uh, comment. Uh, I think we should try to use the skip, skip gram for something very similar. I, if I uh, remember correctly, the skip, skip, skip gram is just uh, uh, based on a word, the, the most probable context up to two or three words to the left and to the right, something like that. It's uh, very similar to, to the longest common match. It's just another uh, different approach. And I think, yes, we should, we should, we should it try it. The relevant word is often much further away than, I think I'm misunderstanding, much further away than three words. So there's a lot of verbiage before you get to the relevant Yeah, but, but the skip, skip gram is completely uh, statistically based and you cannot uh, widen the context at infinitum to the left and to the right. You must to stop at some point. I think they are uh, using. Full stop or clause marker. Yeah, yeah, that could be uh, the, the solution. Okay. Uh, and for the uh, second uh, question, yeah, that's that would be a straightforward, not not technically, but uh, ideally straightforward expansion or improvement of, of the longest commonest match to generalize. Uh, the word list or, or the uh, lexical sets at, at some point uh, in the longest commonest match and uh, substitute it with some general um, hyponym or, or semantic type. Yeah, it's a bit like the plus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do we have any other questions? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Have you tried to apply this uh, mechanism to other languages? And if yes, what were the results? Uh, yes, it's, as I said, it's language independent, but we did not uh, evaluate uh, the results for other languages. So we have some data, uh, we can show you uh, the data, but it's not uh, prepared to show to the public. Okay, I think it's, it's time for tea, so many thanks again to Vit and his uh, co-authors, present and absent. Um, thanks very much. Thank you.